very dirty truck, as is often the case. I'm out at the gun club on a beautiful sunny Tuesday afternoon. Listen to my buddy telling me I got rust on my truck. No, no Goodness rust. gracious. <laughs> no rust on my truck, you pirate. No, it was on the bender there. It was just some, an anomaly. So we've got the uh, we've got the tent, and I'm just going to basically uh, show the uh, the involvement in setting this thing up. Okay, I'm going to shut the camera off because I'm just going to remove this uh, rubber cover that is zippered in place, and I'll be back once I've got the cover off. And once the cover's been removed, you can leave the cover attached uh, to the uh, the tent itself uh, in this position over the passenger side of the vehicle, if that's the way you've chosen it to open. I've chosen to have it open out over to the passenger side. Uh, once the tent is folded out and set up, you'll still be able to access the passenger compartment of the vehicle, so that's always handy. And. Uh, so that's what it looks like without the cover, ready to go. The hardest part is removing the cover. The rest of the setup's pretty fast. All right. All right, so what we're gonna try doing here is uh, just see if I can get this ladder figured out. I'm, I'm still not perfectly adapted to this ladder, but I'll get there eventually. So let's see how this part works. But essentially, this is set up, and that's what it takes to set this tent up. Done deal. Now we can uh, we can put in the supports that extend the window coverings out uh, and extend the awning out. They're very simple. And I think at this point, that's all we'll do. Here we go. All right, man. So this is it set up. Uh, it only takes a few minutes, as you saw. Uh, you got a little bit of a sheltered area for getting in and out. Uh, some of the models of this uh, from this manufacturer have bottom entries, uh, where the ladder is closer to the truck and you come in from the bottom. Those are great, but I don't need the giant one. Uh, this is the smallest one they make. It's the Tapui Air, A-Y-E-R is the model on this one. And it's their smallest tent. The inside dimensions on this one are seven feet by four feet. So it's plenty big for two people. Uh, and uh, and really ideally for one person with some gear. Get up out of the way. You're, uh, you're certainly not laying on the ground. Very comfortable. And this is just a quick shot of the interior space. Uh, no real perspective, but as I say, it's four feet across and it's seven feet uh, from end to end. Uh, good ventilation, there's uh, two vents on each side. This is a very heavy grade of canvas, it's actually not plastic or nylon, it's an actual canvas uh, with a uh, nylon uh, integral fly over top, <laughs> held in place with these, uh, these tension bars. This works really well, keeps constant tension. And uh, a very nice, uh, nice and thick uh, memory foam mattress. And then, of course, I put my uh, minus 30 bag on top of that. And then I can uh, just sleep in a, uh, a more of a lighter weight bag and be very, very comfortable. 
Uh, you can button up, of course, uh, I just got the mosquito net up on that, but you can secure these side windows completely closed by zipping up the, uh, the window panels that are also made of the same uh, heavyweight uh, canvas. So now to try to get down the ladder with some degree of grace. <laughs> and uh, there we go, the fully deployed Tapui Air rooftop tent. Now I've utilized one of the straps uh, to support the rubber cover there to get it up and out of the way so I can still access the cab of the truck. And uh, you know in inclement weather you can of course set a chair up or something in this area behind the ladder under the covered area. And uh, they do, of course, offer what they call an annex, which is uh, a, a zippered in sort of drapery that will connect about here, come out around to the back and to the other side with entrances on both sides. So you can enclose it uh, completely to give you about probably 10 square feet or so that area down there a uh, fully enclosed out of the weather as well uh, and then you could of course access your truck cab from inside the sheltered area under the cantilevered portion of the tent if that makes any sense at all all right so we're going to try this i don't know how smooth and uh, sophisticated it'll be but uh, we're going to give it a try i'll get better at doing this as time goes on so to fold it back up, we literally just reverse. We, uh, we simply push the head back up. 